Now we're given the question then that the random variable x has a probability density function given by f of x equals a constant k multiplied by all of 2x plus 3 for values of x between minus 1 and 2 inclusive and it's 0 otherwise. And what we've got to do is find the value of that constant k. Right? So how do we do this? Well, in my introductory tutorial on probability density functions, I showed you that the area under the graph had to total 1. And we can get the area by integrating the function, so that's the integral of f of x with respect to x, going from the lower limit, which is minus 1 in this particular example, to the upper limit 2. That integral, which represents the area under the graph, has to come to 1. And so all I need to do now is just substitute for f of x. So that means that we have the integral from minus 1 to 2 of f of x. Well, we take this part of the function, and k is a constant, so I'm going to put the k outside the integral. You don't have to do that, but it just, I feel, keeps it simpler. OK, and that equals 1. So if we integrate this in the usual way, we would have the integral of 2x would be x squared, and the integral of the constant 3 would be 3x. And then that is between the limits minus 1 and 2, and it equals 1. Now I just substitute the limits in, so if we put x is 2 through here, we're going to have k multiplied by, well, 2 squared is 4, and 3 twos are 6. Then we subtract what we get when we put negative 1 through. Minus 1 squared is 1, and 3 times negative 1 is minus 3, and that equals 1. Working this out inside the brackets, we've got 10 minus minus 2, so that's in fact going to be 12. So therefore we've got 12k equals 1, and that brings us to k equals 1 twelfth. Okay, so that's the value of the constant k. Now I could have done this a different way, because for this particular question, not every question, but for this particular question, what we have got is a geometrical shape because this particular function, this the graph of f of x, would be a straight line. I'll show you. And uh, having a geometrical shape, as you'll see in a minute, means that we can use other formulas other than integration. Now. I mark on my axis f of x and this axis here x and being a straight line it has the form mx plus c all I need to do is just take the endpoints here and here if I put x is minus 1 into the function what we've got is 2 times minus 1 which is minus 2 add 3 is 1 1k so when x is negative 1 the value that we get is simply k. So we'll say that those coordinates there are 1, k. All right? And when I put 2 through, OK, let's say 2 is here. When I put 2 through, we get 2 twos of 4 plus 3 is 7, so you've got 7k. So I've got to go up here to 7k. It's not drawn to scale, but uh, we'll just imagine that's the point 2 and then 7k. Right? So need to draw in the PDF so it goes from here as a straight line to here and then it is 0 otherwise so 0 along there and when you go out that way it's 0. You might want to drop a vertical line down here or you might want to even do it as a dotted line or maybe just leave it blank. That's really totally up to you. So if I put a dotted line down there, there we go. All right. Okay, so 
that's a graph of the PDF. So what I know is that the area in here should come to 1. But this shape here is a trapezium. And if you know the formula for the area of a trapezium, which is half the sum of the parallel sides, these being the parallel sides, the dotted lines, half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart, which would be this distance here. That would be the area. So using that fact, I can say then that half the sum of the parallel sides, so this height is k, and the other height here is 7k, half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart. Well, the distance between those two parallel lines is that distance, which is 3 units. And that is the area of the trapezium, and it should equal 1. So if we now work this out, we've got k plus 7k, which is 8k. I could halve the 8k and get 4k. 4k times 3 is 12k. So you've got, therefore, 12k equals 1, and therefore k equals 1 twelfth. So this is the more general way then of always establishing um, a value of k by looking at the integral and it equals 1. But if you've got a geometrical shape, like in this case a trapezium, or in some other cases you might have a triangle, Sometimes it's quicker and easier just to use the property of the area of that shape equaling 1. Alright, so that gets us our constant k and also gives you a chance to look at how we can sketch probability density functions. Even if we don't know the value of k at the time, it can still generally be done. All right. Now that brings us now to the end of this uh, example, so hope you've been able to follow that.